Welcome to That's Good Broncos. I am Brandon Perna, and the Denver Broncos running back Capri Bibbs has released a music video for his song, Shorty Gotta Go. It was shot by at Pat Banahan, the disowned son of Mike Shanahan, and lives on the Lost TV YouTube channel if you want to watch the whole thing. Today, I'm doing two things. I'm reviewing the music video for you. We used to be cool on the low, but Shorty Gotta Go. Shorty Gotta Go. And I'm, I'm gonna try to convince Capri Bibbs to let me reshoot the video with cats instead of women. We used to be cool on the low, but Shorty gotta go, gotta go, hey. Shorty gotta go, gotta go. This episode is sponsored by CWHemp.com. Go there, use my promo code, that's good. All one word for 10% off your order. Look, I use Charlotte's Web hemp oil every day. Since I've started using it, I have not had the inflammation issues with my lower back. And I'm also using it to hopefully prevent Alzheimer's disease, which runs in my family. It's one of the shittiest things you can watch a fellow family member go through. Do some research on it, but check out the, the positive things that can happen with hemp oil, with the CBDs that it's high in. Uh, there's evidence that it can help with a, a, a lot of things. Do yourself a favor and see if maybe there's something you can use it for. This song is about a few women Capri Bibbs had been romantically involved with. Did he truly love these women? We don't know, but they all had to go. This song reveals a very tragic story about Bibbs. No, not being put on IR with a sprained ankle, but that he seems to only be able to have romantic relations with women who turn out to be mentally unstable or illegal immigrants. Spanish, she calling me Papa. She want to be part of my roster. She coming through teaching me salsa. But she got a whole lot of problems. Immigration was calling for Papa. So she need a whole lot of money. Capri's second lover, who also happens to be named Shorty, and she too had to go, her problem was being addicted to drugs. They artistically represented her drug overdose by having a big breasted, beautiful woman splash around in a bathtub. So I got the little chin and the Keisha. At the mall, she's swiping a visa. Didn't have to do much to please her. She wanted a million a leer. But she was off too many drugs. I found an OD in the tub. That is now my favorite on screen depiction of a drug overdose ever. Prior to that, it was Jessie Spano when she was taking caffeine pills on Saved by the Bell. You mean you really are taking drugs? I need them! Jessie, give me those! I need them back! What? I have to sing! Which was supposed to be speed. I'm so excited! I'm so excited! My favorite line from the song is this. Get on to the next chick, I throw her like left witch. Throw her like left witch. No, that's, that's not a reference to domestic violence. He did not say steam her like rice. Throwing her like left witch, uh, it means he ended an unhealthy relationship. I throw her like left witch. I swear the chicks did a bad switch. Now I run a show like match. Yeah, like match. Hey, Jordan got it. Go. But why did he reference Byron Leftwich? In 10 years in the NFL, he never had a season where he threw for more than 15 touchdowns or 3,000 yards. Throwing her like left witch, to me, sounds like you let her on while underperforming and then had a very hard time breaking up with her. May I suggest she was more elusive than a Dodger, so I threw her like Aaron Rodgers, or any relevant quarterback. The theme or thesis of this song and video is that all women are crazy. Man, you can meet a chick from here, from there, any country you wanna meet them from, they all gonna have the same problem, they all gonna be crazy. They are gonna give you something you ain't never expect, watch. Now, if you're looking for love, Capri, I'd suggest datingsuccessfulwomen.com. These girls are busy working when your past girls perfected twerking. In love, there's no sure thing, but find a woman who can buy her own bling. Then you can sing your next song about what went right instead of what went wrong. Hands down the best, and I mean the most creative part of the song is when he says she was acting like a baby and they throw in a wah sound effect. I was looking for a lady. She was acting like a baby. If Capri follows my expert love advice, the follow-up to this song will be Shorty, welcome to stay when Capri gets married. 
This is a classic love song, and overall I think the production value of the video was pretty good. That said, I would have liked to see them take a different approach. Call me insane, call me crazy, but I feel I feel like I've seen a rap video before with a bunch of hot women dancing around the artist. The song alone isn't catchy enough to go viral, as they say, so you have to seize the opportunity to make it a unique video. The words tell us this is about your relationships with women who may or may not have been crazy. Let's see some symbolism here. Next time, instead of the women as objects approach, have shirtless linebackers in the room with you. Imagine if it were Jarrell Freeman, Luke Keekley, Bobby Wagner, or Vontez Perfect in the bed, in the bathtub with you, representing the obstacles you face in finding the end zone of life. True love. Some say you have to tackle your problems head on. With the linebacker, your problems are tackling you. And until you learn to navigate the field of love, the way you run through a defense, you will never be happy. That's just my take. Also, the video would have been an instant hit with kittens as well. Shorty got it go. Yes, got it. We used to be cool on the low, but shorty got it go. Got it go. Shorty got it go. Thanks for watching another episode of That's Good Broncos. Make sure you subscribe here. Check out Capri's music video. Give me a follow on Twitter at Brandon Perna. Also, CWHemp.com. Get your Charlotte's Web Hemp Oil with my promo code. That's good. All one word for 10% off your order. And as always, check out my friends at the Mile High Report. Reporting on things from a mile high.